All right, guys, so what I want to show you today is actually how to replicate the wiggle expression that you can find inside of After Effects, but we're going to do it inside of Nuke. Um, so to start off, you need to actually have all your effects applied, and then you need to decide on what you actually want to apply the expression to. In my case, it's going to be a glow, and I'm going to control the tolerance because what I'm going to do, let me go and change this real quick. Okay, so what I want to do is actually control and make his eyes flicker like this. This probably isn't the right one I would want to typically use, but I'm just going to do it for example sake. So anyway, what you need to do is go to your value box, right click, and you're going to say add expression. And then inside here, what we can do is add a simple little expression. And it's just as, a, as easy as the wiggle expression. You're going to type in random. If you learn how to spell, anyway. So it's random parentheses and then you need to enter a random seed value if you don't it will put its own in there and you typically don't want it to do that because it could be an infinite amount of numbers so I'm going to put random seed which would be um, just 56 and then what you need to do now is close it and now if it works you will we'll see that it actually gave us a result which is 0.1 yada 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 hit OK, that actually gave us the value. But the problem is, when you play it back, it doesn't do anything because we're not telling the expression to change over the course of every frame. So to do that, we actually need to go back into the expression. And we're going to add another line of code. It's going to be plus frame. And now we got a value. And the value is based off of the random seed value plus whatever frame number it's on. So if we hit OK and now we play back, this is what we get. And that's it. That's how you do it. Um, there's another way you could do this as well. You can go back into your expression and let's say, let's get rid of this. You can do sine, do mathematical functions as well. So sine. Um, 10, this will give us a value. And this also needs the frame input as well. So if you right click and do the whole procedure over again, plus frame, give a value and hit play. Now I don't recommend this unless you actually want extreme results like this or extreme changes for your particular project. It could be useful. Um, not sure how to actually control when this is on and off right off the top of my head, but I could guess you could use this for a lightning scene or something like that. But anyway, so I hope this helps you guys out with any of your projects and if you have any more questions or any tutorial requests, just shoot them my way and when I find time, I will make them. Thank you.